What is going on guys? In this video today, I'm going to be walking you through a video tour of what living in Mesa, Arizona is like. I'm gonna hit on some of the most major attractions that Mesa has to offer, as well as uh, we'll pop through a couple neighborhoods and uh, that will give you an idea of what different style homes look like here in the Mesa, Arizona area. And you know, Mesa doesn't get as much love as some of the other suburbs. However, in this video, I think uh, you'll find out that Mesa has a lot more to offer um, than some of the other suburbs. So stay tuned and we'll get after it right now. If this is your first time visiting the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about what living in Phoenix, Arizona and the surrounding suburbs is like, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Tap the like button if you like this video. And most importantly, comment down below. I want to know your thoughts about uh, what you think about Mesa, Arizona. And, you know, if you live here or if what you've heard or anything like that, uh, please let us know down in the comments. Uh, I'd be happy to learn more about your feedback. But my name is Eric and I am a licensed real estate agent here in the Phoenix, Arizona area. And we get calls and texts from people just like you that are thinking about making their move to the beautiful and sunny Phoenix, Arizona Valley. I moved here a couple years ago from the Midwest and I absolutely love it. So any way that I could help you out with your uh, transition, our contact information is down below in the description. So there's all different ways to connect with us, call, text, or email if uh, that's your thing. But like I said, in this video today, we're just gonna be walking you through Mesa, Arizona, as well as uh, check out a couple different neighborhoods so that you can get a feel of different neighborhoods as well as price points. So stay tuned and we'll get after it right now. So as I mentioned at the start of this video, I am right outside of Sloan Park. And when most people think of Mesa, and especially people like Midwesterners or you know just avid baseball fans, uh, this is honestly one of the first things that they think of is the spring training. And that, that is one of the biggest draws to Mesa that it does have, uh, you got the iconic Sloan Park behind me. Um, but the nice thing is if you live up here in Mesa, there are two stadiums. So you have Sloan Park here, which the Cubs play here. And then you also have uh, Hohokam Park uh, just a little bit further east from here. And uh, that's for the Oakland A's. So that is one of the really nice things is that, you know, during the springtime, especially if you're an investor, uh, there's a ton of people that are staying up here wanting to go to the Cubs games. Uh, and this area is just buzzing. And it's really, really nice that, you know, the city just keeps pouring into this area of town. So uh, right further east of us is uh, Riverview Mall and River Riverview Park. Um, and the park, as you can see, is really, really cool. They have uh, splash pads, they have, everything's kind of covered so that in the sun, you know, that your kids aren't fully exposed to the su hot sun down here. Um, but it's just a really, really nice park. They also have nice walking trails uh, and a small little lake that uh, you can take either your dog around or if you just like going for walks around some water because we know that's a scarcity around here. Uh, it's a really, really good spot. So all that is going on up here in the northwest part of Mesa. Um, one really, really cool thing that Mesa also has to offer, uh, if you're a member of the Church of the Latter-day Saints, one of the biggest temples in all of the Phoenix area is right here in the heart of Mesa, right just north of downtown. Um, and I didn't know this when I moved down here, but uh, Phoenix actually has the largest population of members of the Church of the Latter-day Saints. So um, it's really, really pretty. It's a really, really pretty temple. Uh, if you live around here, and if, especially if that is, you know, the religion that you are a part of, um, it would be very convenient just of how close the temple is um, up here. But there's all, there's just so much to do in Mesa, and honestly, that's why, you know, nobody really talks about it, to be honest. Everybody wants to be in, you know, Chandler or Gilbert when they talk about the East Mesa, you know, especially now with, like, Queen Creek being built, um, how it is. But Mesa doesn't get the love that I think it deserves. It's a really, really quiet community. Um, a lot of people that live here, they do commute into the city, so, you know, it's really quiet at night because everybody wants, they're done with work, right? All they want to do is just relax and uh, hang out at home, you know, with their family um, and stuff like that. So that is one really, really nice part about Mesa. And really another part that's really nice with Mesa is that it is a little bit more affordable than, you know, some of the other areas such as Chandler uh, and Gilbert. So, so more affordable housing is definitely going to be up here in the Mesa, Arizona area. Another really nice part that Mesa has going for it is uh, the location, especially up here in the northwest part of Mesa. Um, and if you actually look on a map, Mesa is huge. It's the second largest square footage and square mileage in the Phoenix area. So there's a ton of space out here in Mesa, especially, you know, like I said, so right now I'm around Sloan Park and this is up towards the northwest side. 
and you're only about five to ten minutes from the airport you got the Tempe marketplace right next to us uh, and then as well as the shopping um, and if you need to drive up to like Scottsdale or you drive out to California uh, this is a really convenient location just because of how centralized it is in the valley but again the nice thing with Mesa is that it's so spread out so if you kind of want to get away from the hustle and bustle um, and especially if you're over the age of 55, Mesa has a ton of age-restricted communities out on the east side. And I'm not kidding when I say it is very, very quiet out there, uh, especially in the summertime. So if you kind of want to get away from the city, uh, that's what is really nice about Mesa is that it provides that opportunity for you to get out of the, kind of the city life and be more out into the suburbs. If you live in you know, the northeast part of Mesa and you are an outdoor enthusiast and you love to mountain bike or hike, uh, the Usury Mountain Range is right to the northeast of here. Um, and what's really, really nice too is that you have easy access up on that Highway 87. And that takes you out to, you got Roosevelt Lake, you got Canyon Lake, you got Saguaro Lake. Uh, it's just these huge and giant lakes that are only about probably, if you're in the northeast part, only about 30 to 40 minutes uh, drive out there. So you have tons of outdoor activities to do up in that northeast part of Mesa. Um, and when I took clients, they were initially looking in the Gilbert area. Uh, we went and looked at a couple houses in a neighborhood that I'll show you later on this video. Um, but they were just blown away at the mountain views. Um, they didn't think that you could get that in Mesa. Everybody just thinks it's dead flat. But if you were up in that northern part, especially along the Highway 202, uh, it's so pretty because you got those mountains right there. And it's just such an easy access for you uh, around the valley. And speaking of access, that is one really nice thing that Mesa does have. So if you look on a map, you have uh, Highway 60 running right through the heart and uh, right through the heart of the city, but it's on the south side of Mesa. And what's really nice is then you have that 202 loop that goes all the way around it. So really, no matter where you're at in Mesa, um, you only probably have about five, 10 minutes max if you need to get to a highway. And if you live in Phoenix, uh, you know how spread out this place is. So being next to a highway is critical just because again, how spread out uh, the valley is. So it really provides a lot of easy access up on that 202 highway. And speaking of that highway, actually, uh, it's really, really, they don't get as much traffic. So right as you kind of get through Tempe, it's a little congested, um, but the more the Northeast, and if you get up towards that Falcon Field area, um, there is not a lot of traffic. It's really, really, it's a really pretty drive as well. Um, but you got, you know, three to four lanes on each side and it's uh, just a really, really nice and convenient highway to get throughout uh, the areas of Mesa. If you are a amusement park enthusiast, uh, Mesa is going to be a really good spot for you to live. They have a spot right in the heart of the city on just on that south side on the 60 uh, golf and splash and it's a really really cool park every time i drive by it i don't i don't have any kids right now um, but i always think it's going to be a really really good spot to take them one day um, they got mini golf there they got you know roller coasters so it's right in right in like i said the south side um, it just provides a really really good entertainment opportunity uh, for you living here in mesa as well another thing that mesa has um, it's not quite as good, but it's still good. There's still a lot of good restaurants down there. Uh, a ton of really, really cool art uh, is the downtown area. So not quite as vibrant as, you know, the, its partners down here in Gilbert and Chandler. Um, but it is still a really, really cool area. They got a brewery down there. They got some euros. They got some Mexican food. So um, all kinds of different restaurants down there along Main Street. Um, so a, just a really good spot for uh, entertainment as well as, you know, just to meet some family friends uh, to go out for a bite to eat or uh, to get some drinks and uh, check out some beautiful art. Uh, a little local secret, go there in the winter time. They got Christmas lights strung out all over the place. Uh, it's just a really, really good date night spot and uh, just a really cool spot to really get into the Christmas spirit because um, that's one thing down here in Phoenix. feels a little different than living in the Midwest where it's cold. So uh, it's a really cool spot to check out, especially in the winter time. A couple other spots that you got to check out if you are you know, living in Mesa or uh, just visiting the area is Organ Stop Pizza. Uh, it's crazy, there's a, uh, there's a huge organ that pops out in the middle of the stage. It feels like you're just in this like grand theater um, and an organist pops out of the floor and uh, it spins around and it's just a great, it's a, we went as me and my friends just went, you know, not too long ago. Um, they were blown away at the experience. Um, but a funny story with that is uh, Steph's dad, my, my wife's dad, he came down here 30 years ago and he goes, yeah, I just remember coming to this pizza place and there's this organist um, and still today it's still around. So it's a really, really cool spot, especially if you got kids, uh, take them there. They'll have a blast. They got pizza. They got really cheap beer for the adults, um, but it's, it's a really cool spot to check out. Uh, again, that's just right on the south side of Mesa in right off the 60.
A couple other last points of interest that Mesa has to do is uh, Bell Bank Park. So that's going to be way down in the southeast corner, uh, right off kind of the newly developed Highway 24. And it's just a really, really cool, it's, they got sports parks everywhere. So uh, one of my friends plays uh, semi-professional soccer, and uh, that's where they have their games at. There's all, uh, there's a million soccer fields down there. There's pickleball courts, there's tennis courts. So if you are an outdoor enthusiast and you love, uh, you know, all the athletic activities, um, being about around that Bell Bank Park is going to be critical for your move down here in Mesa, Arizona. One last thing that we'll touch on that Mesa is very, very fortunate to have, and if you are a traveler, you're going to want to pay attention here because uh, they do have their own airport down in the southeast part of the city called Mesa Gateway. And the nice thing with Mesa Gateway is that it's a really, really small airport, uh, and they fly to kind of some more uh, niche cities, we'll call it. So, for example, last weekend uh, we just flew, we took a direct flight up to Bozeman, Montana. So they have, you know, a lot more of those type cities, like your Sioux Falls, South Dakotas, um, you know, types of cities like that that uh, have smaller, you know, access, easy access uh, and nonstop flights. But you got to, if you're going to, thinking about making a move, you're going to want to do it sooner rather than later because Mesa Gateway has huge plans to blow up that airport um, because face, Phoenix only really has one major one. Uh, but their plan right now is to take that Mesa Gateway Airport and you know blow it up and add 20, 30, 40 gates and uh, make it really a hub, which will be very convenient living here in the East Valley. So as you guys can see, Mesa has a ton to offer. Um, and like I said at the beginning of the video, next steps, we're going to pop into a couple neighborhoods. Um, for this video alone, we're going to focus on just residential and non-55 uh, and older communities. Uh, I'll focus on that on another video and spotlight all the communities that they have because they are everywhere, especially in East Mesa. But for now, we're going to go check out uh, two really unique neighborhoods that uh, Mesa has to offer. And uh, that way, it'll just kind of give you a feel of what is available here in Mesa. So let's go check out those neighborhoods, and that way you can get a good feel for what homes look like down here in Mesa. All right, so we're here on our first neighborhood stop, uh, and we are just north of downtown, about three miles in really uh, what I'll call it North Central uh, Mesa. And one really, really nice thing about uh, the Mesa area in general is there's a lot of tall trees. As you can see kind of behind me, um, there's a lot of tall trees around here in the neighborhood. And you, this is a very, very common feel that you get kind of all throughout, especially in the central part of Mesa. You know, Mesa is a very established city. And uh, what's really cool is you get this, these really unique houses around here that all have, they all look different. Uh, you know, you got brick, brick uh, buildings. So uh, it's a really, really cool neighborhood up here. Um, that's really the nice thing about living in Mesa is that, again, we talked earlier in the video that it's a little bit lower cost of living around here. Um, so the average home sale in the Mesa area is about $460,000. Um, and the reason that's slightly lower than, you know, other areas is Mesa has a ton of townhouses and they also have a ton of little condos. Um, so a really, really nice spot, especially, you know, if you're on the lower end of the budget or if you're a first time home buyer, uh, Mesa is going to be a really, really good neighborhood for you. Uh, the neighborhood that I'm walking around right now is in that, you know, low to 400s, you know, all the way up to there's a couple houses in this neighborhood that are for sale right now for about 600,000. Um, so more of a starter neighborhood, um, but, you know, generally in line with uh, the average prices here in Mesa. Um, but again, the really, really nice thing is that um, a lot of these neighborhoods are very established. So, you know, they already have parks built. Um, as you can see, uh, you know, there's just plenty of green spaces around here. There's an elementary school right around the corner. Um, so, and there's kids riding their bikes around here. Oh, it's super quiet. The birds are chirping right now. It's amazing. Um, so I hope, you know, this really helps you get a good feel of what a starter neighborhood looks like here in Mesa. And especially for the price point, uh, it's a really, really desirable area. You know, homes don't last long in this neighborhood just because of how quaint uh, and how, you know, just quiet these neighborhoods are. So if you're, you know, a starter or looking more on the lower end of the budget, um, as you can see, there's just some really, really beautiful houses around here in the central part of Mesa. And again, if Mesa has, the really nice thing that Mesa has is that it has options for every part of your budget. So there's a couple houses, you know, not too far east from here, uh, just off of Gilbert Road that are for sale for a million dollars. And the really nice thing with that piece of it is that a million dollars here goes so much further, guys, than if you were looking in Scottsdale or if you were looking down in Gilbert. A uh, million dollar homes here are they're absolutely gorgeous. They're mansions. Um, so Mesa, it really, really does have it all for every single price point. And again, if you're just starting your search, uh, feel free to reach out. We'll be happy to you know, guide you through on uh, what neighborhoods we've heard of the best and uh, what are some of our clients' favorite areas. 
of town. But uh, just all in general, in this particular neighborhood, like you said, or like we talked about earlier, that uh, you know the little bit smaller quaint style homes, uh, you're gonna see homes around the 13 to 15, 1600 square feet range around here, but you got brick construction, um, you got tall trees, and it's just a really, really, really cool neighborhood. So um, next I wanna pop over to one of the most pretty neighborhoods. Uh, it's gonna be up on the northeast part of the 202, and it's uh, Los Sendis and Red Mountain Ranch, and there are they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I think you'll really, really appreciate the beauty that Mesa homes have to offer, uh, and especially up in that northeast part of town. So we'll go pop over there next and uh, finish out our walking vlog tour of Mesa. All right, guys, so we are at our last stop up here in the Los Santos neighborhood. And this is honestly one of my favorite neighborhoods in the entire Phoenix Valley. Uh, just look at these views behind me with, uh, you got the, you're up here in the hills. Um, and it's just so, so pretty. Um, so Los Santos is not particularly one neighborhood. It's a collection of little tiny, smaller ones. Um, but what is really nice is you have so many community amenities up here. There's walking paths everywhere. There's bike paths everywhere. Uh, there's a golf course. There is tennis courts. There's a pool. Um, you have everything that you need up here uh, in the Los Santos neighborhood. And you also get a fitness center, which is a, a really nice added bonus as well. But this is definitely going to be one of the more luxurious neighborhoods in all of Mesa. Um, a lot of the homes here, you're really not going to find anything under 600,000. Uh, and those are, you know, going to be your lot smaller homes. But um, most of these, you know, surrounding the houses surrounding me right now, uh, these are going to be in the, you know, seven, eight, nine hundred thousand dollar range. So, you know, definitely higher end um, towards the top of the budget. Um, but man, if you can, if you have the means to live up here, uh, the homes are absolutely gorgeous. Um, like I said earlier, I had some clients that were looking down in the Gilbert area, um, and I wanted to show them what it was like up here in Los Angeles, just because it's so it's so pretty. It is so quiet up here. I'm by far the loudest person right here, just because there's no there's no movement. Um, it's just an absolutely amazing spot up here in Northeast Mesa. So again, I'll take you around uh, and just show you some more footage of the neighborhood and uh, some of the community features that it has. Um, but all in all guys, Mesa is a really, really good place to live. Uh, it's really not talked about enough in my opinion. Um, it has so much to offer, especially with that lower cost of living. Uh, you have amazing entertainment options with uh, downtown Mesa and there's plenty of restaurants. Um, and that's something that we didn't touch on earlier is that the restaurant scene is really, really good here. Um, so way back in the day, uh, Mesa just used to be all like dairy farms. Um, and so slowly, you know, it started to, we'll call it civilized, right? Um, but what is cool with that is that, you know, there's a lot of mom and pop shops that are here and uh, there's a lot of unique restaurants and niche restaurants that have been here, you know, forever. So that is one really good thing about living in Mesa. Another really cool thing that Mesa has to offer uh, and not in this particular neighborhood, uh, just because it's more, you know, planned. Um, but there's a lot of horse properties here in Mesa, especially like up in the Lehigh Estates area. So if you love to have horses or you want, you know, horses on your property, uh, Mesa is going to be for sure, again, uh, the place for you. Um, and before we uh, log off here, I completely forgot, um, you know, to talk about some golf courses, right? That's the reason why I moved down here. Uh, and I always hit on it on all of my videos of all my vlogs. So uh, there's a lot of really, really good golf courses up here. Um, unfortunately, I have not played a lot of them. Um, mainly on the fact that, you know, I never really quite lived in this particular neighborhood. Um, so I haven't been able to experience a lot of the Mesa golf courses, but you have uh, Longbow, Los Santos is really, really good. Um, and actually they're trying to take that course private. So if you're in the area, uh, go play that while you can uh, before it goes private. But you got like Red Mountain Ranch up here, uh, Arizona Golf Resort, uh, that's over here. There's all kinds of different, um, you know, golf courses here. Um, honestly, one of the best kept secrets is Dobson Ranch. Uh, that's in the southwest part of Mesa. And the really nice thing about Dobson Ranch is they have a player's card and it was like 50 bucks for the year. And after 3.30 or 4.30 in the summer, you can walk nine holes for only 10 bucks. So it's by far one of the best deals, um, but it has a really, really cool vibe. And uh, you'll notice that right when you walk up, it's got a lit driving range. The practice facilities are really good. So Dobson Ranch, uh, definitely, go, definitely go check that out. Uh, some other courses, there's a ton of retirement communities. Um, and each one of those have their own golf course. Some are public, some are private. So I'll just do a little bit of research before uh, you, you guys book those and just show up. Um, but yeah, there's a really, there's a ton of golf courses out here in Mesa. And that's really one of the benefits about living up here is there's a ton of options. Uh, you have, you know, the city course down in Dobson, which is more affordable. And then you got some more luxurious uh, courses like uh, Longbow that we talked about um, earlier. So a lot of really good options uh, and you'll never get bored playing golf 
out here in Mesa. All right, guys, so that wraps up our tour uh, for a walking tour of what Mesa looks like. Uh, and we hit on you know some of the main things to do uh, in the first part of the video. And then in the second part, we hit on uh, a couple neighborhoods. And really, guys, this is just a sneak peek and a preview of what Mesa has to offer. Uh, there's a, it's a really, really good, really good suburb. Uh, it doesn't get talked about enough. It's super quiet uh, and it does have a really good location with plenty of stuff to do. Um, so if you have any questions about making the move to the Mesa area, again, uh, please feel free to reach out. Um, we'd be happy, myself and my team, we'd be happy to you know, help you out and make your transition to Mesa as smooth as possible. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you haven't checked out, check out our other uh, vlogs of some of the other suburbs, as well as all of our pro, pros and cons videos at this time. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned and comment down below. I want to know your thoughts.